Today we're doing a speed test pinning iOS 14.1 against the new iOS 14.2. This update just came out a few days ago and hopefully it helps you decide if you want to update or not. If it does, give it a like and subscribe for more. Let's get started. All right, so you guys see here on Geekbench 5, we are using iOS 14.2 on iPhone 11 Pro. These are both the, the exact same phone, just from different times. This is after the update to 14.2, and that is when it was in 14.1. So you see that all the apps are closed. Only a two second difference. All right, testing face ID. Pretty good. Hey Siri, define apple. The round fruit of a tree of the rose family. Looks like everything's still snappy. Native apps are the apps that are pre-installed into your iPhone. Camera. Weather. Maps. Safari. App Store. All right, third party apps, YouTube. It's about the same. Reddit. Instagram. Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. Prime Video. 14.21. TikTok. About the same. All right, let's go here and open up Temple Run 2. Looks like 14.1 was first. Now testing Pokemon Go in three, two, one. Looks like 14.1 was first again, so I'm not liking the results so far for games. Let's see how many apps need to reload, starting with photos. Didn't reload. Phone, didn't reload. Camera. Of course it has to reconfigure either way. Weather. I don't think it reloaded. I think it just updated. Safari. Didn't reload. Just the image changed. App Store. Didn't reload. YouTube. Didn't reload. Reddit. I don't think it reloaded. Instagram, a reload, Snapchat, that had to refocus, Prime Video, no reload, TikTok, did not reload, Temple Run, did not reload, and Pokemon Go, pretty good, no reload in 14.2. They pretty much remembered everything. We have to clear out all the apps because we're going to do a Geekbench test, which tests the processor. So what this does is test the power of the processor, which is the chip inside of it. The higher the score is, the better. Again, these are both the, the exact same phone, just from different times. 
All right, here we go. And here are the scores for 14.2. Single core is like when you do single tasks like browsing the web, opening up apps, consuming media, looking at photos, a lot of opening things up and doing things one at a time. And multi-core score is for when it needs to do multiple things at once, like when you're editing video and adding effects and layers and editing photos as well. And when you're playing video games because it's trying to do multiple things at once. Single core scores, average 1327. I'm above average again on 14.2. Multi-core score, well above average, even higher than the Pro Max. That's pretty cool. I like that. So that's pretty much it. I hope this helped. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.